Okay, okay. Okay, stand by. Okay, stand by in three, two. September is AFib Awareness Month, and cardiologist Rajat Deo is discussing with us the importance of getting on and staying on a treatment for stroke prevention. Thanks for being with us. Hello. Okay, can you first tell us what exactly is AFib? Atrial fibrillation is the most common heart arrhythmia or abnormal heart rhythm. The heart is comprised of four chambers. There are the two upper chambers, which are the atria, and the two lower chambers, which are the ventricles. Atrial fibrillation arises from the upper chambers, the atria, and spreads through the rest of the heart. It causes irregular abnormal heartbeats. Now, why is diagnosing and treating AFib so important? In certain patients, atrial fibrillation, as well as a host of other risk factors, can increase the risk of stroke or an embolic event. <clears throat> atrial fibrillation causes uh, turbulent blood flow uh, throughout the chamber, throughout the heart. And because the blood flow is no longer smooth, it can clot or it can form clots within its chambers and if that dislodge, if those dislodge, it can cause a stroke. Got it, got it. So um, can you talk to us about the treatment options for this? Of course. The, in select individuals, the mainstay and most important aspect of the management algorithm is to prevent stroke and other clots from forming. For that, in select individuals, we prescribe anticoagulants or blood thinners. There are a series of different blood thinners available, um, and uh, that's what we generally recommend for most of our patients with atrial fibrillation. And can you explain how um, these treatments work and why it's important for, um, for people to stay on that medication regularly? Of course. A blood thinner, uh, like an, an anticoagulant, is a blood thinner which causes the blood to essentially thin. Uh, it prevents the blood from forming clots. So we know from many studies that these blood thinners work, that they're effective at preventing strokes and other clots, uh, but patients need to stay on them. And for most individuals with atrial fibrillation, they will need to take the blood thinner for the rest of their lives. Um, stopping an anticoagulant or stopping a blood thinner will then subsequently increase the risk of having a stroke. Got it. Um, and then there might be certain times where um, I believe it's called a reversal agent would be needed. Can you explain how that, how that works and what medication they might take to, uh, to, to make that happen? Of course. Blood thinners prevent stroke, but of course, they can also increase the potential risk for bleeding. Now, it's important to state that multiple clinical studies have consistently demonstrated that the clinical benefit of preventing stroke far outweighs the potential risk of bleeding. That being stated, certain patients may have a traumatic event, may fall, may have another injury that causes a bleeding complication, uh, and they're more likely to bleed if they're on a blood thinner. In those situations, those patients should present to their physician or to the emergency room as soon as possible. And for select blood thinners, we have reversal agents available. One on market right now is a medication called dabigatran, which if it's administered, if the patient's on dabigatran or pradaxa, uh, a reversal agent can be administered to prevent the bleeding complications. Very helpful. Okay, thank you so much. Uh, uh one other thing, can you tell us um, where people could go for more information if they need it? Of course. Patients should uh, see their healthcare provider or physician for further information on the diagnosis and management of atrial fibrillation. 
Great. Thank you so much for being with us. Thank you.